So you're wearing a microwave on your wrist, bud. That makes sense. It makes this sense! This arm does feel stronger than the other one. What's, what arm feels stronger? The one you wear the watch on or the yeah, one you yeah, don't wear the yeah, watch it's, on? Yeah, it's like got mutant You power. think you're like gamma rays, like fucking yeah, incredible Hulk I'm, over I'm here? That's not him, what it's doing. I feel like I'm getting mutant powers in my, in my radiation arm. You're like the fish from The Simpsons. You're about to grow a third eye. I already got a third eye. I ain't got a good, good, good brain. Off the charts. Just gonna walk around here, show you guys how much EMF. This thing's just going crazy. Right? Look at that. It's going so high. Shouldn't even be standing here. But as people charge their car, that radiation cooks the body. That's why they're pushing this. Now, what's interesting is we look around here, and it's just an open parking lot. So there's no towers, but this whole system is all linked up to the towers, and each car is also acting like a tower, emitting harmful radiation. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am your host, Joe Guy. And I am Danny. It's everything. What's going on, bud? Oh, you know. Dude, I've been um eating a lot of fruit lately. You'd be proud of me. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. I every episode, the first thing we go into is fruit is food. And huh? I was waiting for the food. And I did not think it would be fruit that you're talking about. Yeah, dude. Uh, eating a ton of pineapple and coconut lately. Nice. Yeah. Usually nice. um, usually there's a little rum mixed in. Uh, so you're not eating a lot of fruit is what you're telling me. Uh, pina coladas are fruit. You're having poisons. <laughs> pina coladas are fruit. Spirits and poisons. That's what alcohol is. It's poison. They tell you it's poison. Well, here, you know that. here, listen. It's a spirit. It's You'll pick your poison. Spirit. Elephant. It's a spirit. You feel the spirits when you drink it. You know. I feel some spirits. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, all jokes aside, I have been eating a lot of them though. Um, there's these thing called Outshine bars, Outshine popsicles, and it's a popsicle, but it's got real fruit in it, and they're fucking That's delicious. Not real fruit. Oh my! No, there's chunks of pineapple in this popsicle and chunks of coconut along with processed chunks of processed sugar and listen we're not here to talk about that and i didn't i didn't talk about that i'm here to talk about fruit okay and it's not fruit <laughs> there's fruit in it it's made with all right. real fruit oh. all right you can't okay. you, can, okay. you okay. can't tell okay. me i'm not eating fruit when i'm eating fruit i can i can when i you know pineapple. that's like me saying hey dude i just ate some fruit loops no completely I different ate some fruit no Completely different because these outshine bars, they actually have chunks of fruit in them. Like, I know the texture of pineapple, and when I'm eat, chewing on this popsicle, take a bite, <laughs> chew on it, there's there's pineapple texture and coconut texture in there, man. Okay, but what else is with the fruit that can't We're not out here to talk about that, Joe. We're here to talk about fruit. <laughs> all right, bud. Always focusing on the negative, man. Focus on the positive once in a while. Jesus Christ. I always focus on the positive. I'm like the only one I know that focuses on the positive about shit. What Today about you? It's not going to be positive. <laughs> what about huh? you? What, what about you? What, what you been up to, man? What have I been up to? Yeah, which, what's new? Chilling, yo. Just living, living, living the... Uh... I'm not going to say dream because people think I'm being sarcastic when I say living the dream, but... I went to... Uh, uh, loving life. I went to uh, Sedona last week. That was fun. Nice. You go uh, Cathedral Rock? I did. Hiked up to the Cathedral Rock Vortex and hung out up there nice. solo for a little while. Do you meditate or no? Um, I'm never, I've am never. i never been good at it, man. Bro, you just sit there and, si- you just sit there and close your eyes. I, I, sat, it. I sat there for a little while, but I didn't close my eyes because I enjoy the beauty of Sedona. I sat there. I get in, that in, in silence and you know listen to the the birds and yeah, but if you wind. if you close your eyes, you, just you call still me listen to the. <laughs> no, you, I said but. No, no, no. You said yeah, boo, yeah, boo. I'll boo. I did not call you boo. Trust me. 
I have never called anybody ever boo. <laughs> it's not something I've ever said in my life. <laughs> listen, listen, boo. All right. You're my boo. <laughs> you are. You're my boo. You're my boo. You're my boo, and I'm and I'm and I'm I've been missing you. <laughs> That's dope, though. Uh, next time, close your eyes, because even the sounds of nature is still fucking very peaceful. And I was wondering when uh, you and you and David are gonna come out and go hiking. I'll, I'll come. Uh, I'll come. I'll come out. I'll come. <laughs> I'll come. Okay, boo. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. You got your shungite on you? Yeah, it's uh right right there. Right there. Hmm? My, my shungite. It's right there. You're saying it's right there. I don't see anything. What do you mean? Right there. So, uh, <clears throat> today... What do we it's got not today? A pos- it's not a positive episode, but um, and I, I'm not trying to fear monger. I just want people to realize what's going on around them. Okay. Um, there are solutions to every issue that they put onto us. So we're just going to dive right in. Uh, do you have you heard of radi EMFs? Electric magnetic frequencies. Uh, electric magnetic no you're on the right track uh so 5g is a really big problem they've been putting towers up all over the place and um i love my 5g dude i can download shit so fast i I bet you do which is fucking terrifying uh because most people are like you and they do love their 5g uh here's the first clip faster better more reliable internet. That's the promise of 5G technology, but there is also the peril. Health hazards associated with radio frequency that is higher also and requires more transmitters and in antennas. And the stark, simple fact is the health hazards are unknown and unstudied. And that is a sign of neglect and disregard on the part of the Federal Communications Commission that seems unacceptable. There have been no answers so far. The FCC basically has said everything's fine, but in order to reach a conclusion about the health and safety of this new technology, we need facts. Mr. Chairman, thank you uh, for having this hearing. Uh, 5G, as you well know, also uses higher frequency waves that don't travel as far and will rely on a network of hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of small cell sites. And the question then is, are there any health implications, any public safety implications to those additional sites that are likely to be located close to homes, schools, workplaces, and closer and closer to the ground? Correct? Correct, Senator. Yes. So my question for, for you, particularly Mr. Gillen and Mr. Perry, um, how much money has the industry committed to supporting additional independent research? I stress independent research. Is that independent research ongoing? Has any been completed? Where can consumers look for it? Um, and we'll talk about research on the biological effects of this new technology. Thank you, Senator. I, I think uh, thank you for your focus on the issue. Uh, safety is paramount, and as you alluded to, we rely on the expert agencies. We rely on the findings of the FDA and others as to the requirements to keep all of us safe. Uh, there are no industry back studies, to my knowledge, right now. Happy to visit with you as to what uh, opportunities you think there needs to be more studies, and we're always for more science. We also rely on what the scientists tell us. So essentially, the answer to my question: How much money? Zero. Uh, I can certainly f- follow up with you, Senator. To my knowledge, there's no active studies being backed by industry today. Anybody else know of industry commitments to, to back research, fund it, support it, to ascertain scientifically the health effect? No, I'm not aware of any. So there really is no research ongoing. We're kind of blind, blind here, so far as health and safety is concerned. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So they rolled out 5G had zero tests about health and safety 
they're not doing any tests now and there's no plans to do any tests on it but they just fucking roll it out like it's nothing do they test 4g probably not were there health and safety issues with 4g yeah there were yeah like what where there's more oh, we got okay. more info coming gotcha <clears throat> that's interesting yeah and it's not like a little thing like these things fuck with your body they do standing next to a tesla which is a highly electrical car what we're going to do with the kinesiology is we're going to have bella eventually touch the car and i'm going to push on her arm if she's strong while the car is in the off position we know that it's not affecting her body let's test bella she's going to put her hand on the car again the car is off and we're going to see what happens with the muscle response arm is strong watch this strong what that means is in the off position, this is not creating any type of negative energy against her body. And the next thing we're gonna do in a minute is we're gonna turn the car on and we're gonna recheck and see what happens. Now we're in front of the Tesla, it's on, and you could probably hear the sound coming from the engine. Now we're gonna retest Bella and see what happens with the muscle response. She's gonna touch the car, she's gonna hold that arm up strong like she did just a minute ago, and let's see what happens. Weak, watch totally weak she can't match my pressure what that means is the electric frequencies that are coming from this vehicle are creating a weakness in her body every uh, people think that because you don't see it it's not like a, a thing that's happening to you but it's it's a fucking problem it really is hmm. that's why i got i got dude i got fucking shungite rocks all over the fucking all anywhere i got like a laptop or fucking like my Wi-Fi thing has an Aries thing. I wear a fucking shungite around my neck. I even have an Aries necklace thing. Like shit that actually blocks it and like um, transmutes it into energy that your body can actually handle. So there are things you can do, but it's there's so much of it around and they're putting up 5G, to 5G towers like it's their fucking jobs because it is usually their jobs so and there's a lot of money in it it's like big pharma you know what i mean hmm. i'll keep going insurance industry will not underwrite companies building out the 5g infrastructure 5g is deemed as an emerging risk insurance companies as the biological effects of emf in general and 5g in particular are still being debated potential claims for health impairments may come with a long latency that's from that's from sonar's 2019 swiss ray zurich switzerland reinsurance company report final thing i'll mention before i go 10K disclosure. Crown Castle International out of Houston, te te Texas, is a publicly shared company. They have a 10K disclosure they have to give to shareholders. In that 10K disclosure, it reads, if frequency emissions from wireless handsets or equipment on our communications infrastructure are demonstrated to cause negative health effects, potential future claims could adversely affect our operations, costs, or revenues. We currently do not maintain any significant insurance with respect to these matters. They have to let their shareholders know. I thank you for your time, and I encourage you, please, to take into consideration that right now in the United States, there are 418,000 cell towers. Over the next six years, that will go up another 800,000, a 300% increase. This is only just beginning. Thank you so Mr. much. Mr. Weaver, if you could leave the documents um, with the city clerk, that would be great. Okay. Thank you. So insurance won't even fucking insure it. If you have problems because of this shit, they refuse to insure you over it because they know it's fucking people up bad. And it's only getting worse with more and more of these bullshit Apple products. What? Dare you what time touch? Is it? How what dare time you? Is it? What time is it? 109? No, no, no. You got to watch that? No. Oh, wow. Okay. It's on the charger. It is. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you talk about Apple? Their fucking logo is the forbidden fruit with a bite out of it. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Hold on. Let's back what? up. Let's back up this cuckoo train. <laughs> you're, mad, you're mad at them because their logo is a forbidden fruit? 
No, no, no. I'm saying that's what their logo is. It's, right. But what's it's this? the apple that Eve takes a bite out of and com- supposedly fucks up the world. Or, you know. So you're saying they're here to... F- they're, 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 they're representing the apple that fucks up the world? Satan? Yes, they're representing Satan. Just like Disney and all these other corporations. <laughs> we unpacking some worms today, brother. Let's keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've been pushing off the Jesus episode just so we don't lose fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Cell phone users and Wi-Fi users, etc. When they went to two, it was about two hundred strands. They went to three, it was about three thousand strands. When they went to four, it was about forty thousand strands. Now they've gone up to four hundred thousand strands, and so. We always have thought in previous physics that the larger the stimulant or stimulation, the more effective it would be. As a matter of fact, therapeutically, in my energy medicine department, that was what we thought until 1982 or 3. He said it's a subtle frequency that allows our entire workings, anatomical workings, function, but also connects this subtle energy, us to all other life forms. Not only you to other people, but you to other life, as Gabriel just pointed out. And so... The frightening part of this is that this is something that has been used to hurt people. We're not talking about, uh, this is a theory, this is a philosophy. Uh, Yes, there's research in 10,000 or 25,000, but uh, none of that research basically says the military and the Pentagon has been using it. I'm here to tell you they have been using this, 5G. That's what they've been doing. And do I think it's some conspiracy to wipe people out? Well, I would hope not. I think it's, it's greed. As always, greed is usually at the core of all insanity. And to white people. And so let's leave it at that. But the, sec- the first I proposed is a possibility. We don't know that. Uh, right now in, in, in Austria, they're working on very thick wood homes and finding, just like you said, through windows, making particular forms of uh, windows that you can't have this permeate. And they've been a pretty good success. Uh, in my own personal home, I put lead walls in. And they don't look like lead walls, so you're in some kind of a nut house. Uh, they look just like the, the board you put up normally. They just, you pay extra. You can get these through Home Depot and Lowe's, and you put that up, and it blocks these types of things. Now, the average person is going to say, well, you know, how much does that cost? A lot of money. So, uh, it's basically, he, at first he was telling you about how your body has energy and it's connecting you with other life, like plants and animals and other shit. And the 5G is fucking that up for you. And then he says, obviously, you can, you know, buy lead walls and all this other shit. And, but it's expensive. You know, you hmm. can't just like there was a we had a guy that's um, he didn't want insulation in his house because he didn't want like the, the that kind of like material. And he's he's putting straw bales for insulation inside of his ha- inside of his walls. Yeah, and then there's another guy who painted his entire house uh, with this paint, this black paint, and it's fucking expensive black paint, like just to block radiation and shit. It's a real thing, you know. Like there's studies on it. I, be- I believe it's real. I just think people are cuckoo. Who's cuckoo? The people yeah. that are fucking. You're putting, putting radiation on us? No, people were putting straw in, into their walls. Well, I don't that's, think that's cuckoo. Straw? It's natural material. It's natural material. <clears throat> oh, yeah, but... It's, it would probably work better than insulation. Regular pink bat. Not that... Well, maybe, but that foam, that spray foam insulation shit works good. You know how expensive that is? You know, that's fucking horrible chemical that you're putting in your wall. That's worse than bat insulation. I'm in the field. I know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying. That shit works good, man. Do you have spray foam in your house or something? Like, yeah. Are you, are you yeah, fucking advertising for it? Yeah, I, I actually uh, invested in a spray foam company. So That's, you removed all the drywall in your house, all the exterior wall drywall, and you re-spray foamed it. Spray foamed the whole top to bottom, left to right, front to back. Even did the yeah. did the roof. That's expensive. Did the I I tore up the rug. Did the roof. Listen, tore up the rug. Put new uh, floorboards down to get us another inch off the ground, and then shh, spray foam under there. I mean, no cold air gets out. 
I'm going to spray foam over these goddamn windows here soon. It keeps getting 115 degrees out here. You do that, bud. <laughs> I don't believe you at all. I, I didn't do any of that. I know you didn't. <laughs> Nor do I have plans to. <clears throat> spray That's foam. it. If I build the treehouse, I'll do that. Nice. Tree, tree, tree fort. Oh, oh. Or when I build one of my camper vans. Because, you know, I'm going to live on the in a, by the ocean in a camper van at down some point. Down by the river? Yeah. You're going to live in a van down by the river? I can't wait. I hope so. One day if I save up all my money, I can live in a yeah. van down by the river. You're going to be doing a lot of doobie rolling when you're living in a van down by the river. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking dream, to be honest with you, shit. Bro. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the spray foam in the camper van. Get some straw bales. It's gonna rot. That straw is gonna rot. What do you mean rot? No, it's not. Eventually it will. It'll get wet. What, you, what kind of crack are you smoking? I don't smoke. Crack it's gonna anymore. get wet. Yeah, I'm gonna have a shower it, in my spray van or my camper van. Why is this? Why is it gonna get wet because of a shower? Because I'm the one that's gonna do the plumbing. <laughs> well, gonna, that makes sense. I'm gonna fuck there it you. There you go. You win. You won that argument, bud. <laughs> it's the perfect, most logical answer I've ever heard from you. For real. I'm honest. Yeah. Here's RFK. <laughs> Full of, of Trump's lies and his conspiracy theories in this country. You claim that you want to heal us as a nation. Have one of those. List, listen and carefully. This is not, I mean, the Wi-Fi causes cancer and 5G is is mass surveillance and, and chemicals in our water cause transgender and, and, and antidepressants cause school shootings. I, I'm so confused. And so I'm looking for clarity from you today, Mr. Kennedy. Oh, and okay, uh, Jaron, thank you for the call. Let me lay out those questions. You say that I have conspiracy theories and, you know, you labeling me anti-vax, which I'm not, or a conspiracy theorist, which I am not. Um, is one of the ways that the Democratic Party and their uh, allied press have silenced me. I mean, you um, you mention, for example, 5G and, and dismiss the fact that 5G causes cancer, but I'm representing now hundreds of, 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 of men and women in this country who have gotten uh, glioblastoma, uh, classic cell phone tumors, uh, from 5G, and there's, there are reams of scientific studies that show that that is happening. Um, you, you say that 5G is not used for, for surveillance. Is there really any American left who believes that the government is not uh, spying on the American people? You know, I mean, Edward Snowden uh, demonstrated this. I don't think you'll find a single member of Congress who, if you ask them, does the government spy on Americans? We'll tell you now. Uh, so that's right from the, uh, you know, a, a presidential candidate telling you 5G's fucking people up. If it came from Kamala, I wouldn't believe it. But she would never come out and say 5G's well, harmful. She'd say, <laughs> get, a, get a 5G cell phone. She heard, she heard RFK say it. She'll probably say it soon. Nah. If Trump says it, she'll say it soon. Tell me I'm wrong. Ah, bro. I know. Um, forgot what I was about to say. So Let's talk about RFK for a second. Okay. Uh, Let's get political again on another episode. Go ahead. No, I just... his uh, Poor guy, man. There's got to be something they can do to help him talk correctly. Normal. Eat fruit. Him? Yeah. That's all he's got to do? Dr. Sebi has cured how many illnesses off of fruit and herbs? I'm just saying. There's got to be something he can do. I think that's one of the reasons why he couldn't be president. Because the president has to talk a lot. And people would be like... Yeah, a lot. You know, it's too bad. Because, <laughs> you know, everything I have heard him talk about, he's a smart guy. Um, yeah. he's, de he's definitely with it. Definitely far more with it than K Kamala. 
Kamala. Kamala. He's Kamala. still going to run, but he's Kamala. just basically going to take votes away from both candidates. Really, he's going to take more votes away from Trump than Kamala because right. Kamala's not going to get any votes. Right. You know how awesome that would be if fucking the second place person is RFK and Kamala's like got like 1% of the vote? That should be so funny. Dude, there's so many silly, silly people who are voting for her. Take that. You watch the news too much. No, no. I see people with their... Uh, uh, post post a picture I took this morning in the dry, in the Starbucks drive through. Well, that's because you're at a fucking coffee shop, and that's where all the liberals hang out. Coffee shops. No, the liberals work at the coffee shops. <laughs> yeah, and they hang out at the coffee shops too. This was, and they they buy one coffee or bring it in themselves because they're broke, and they sit there all day. This was in the drive through. We're we're just I was just getting my coffee, man. I'm just I was. <laughs> I'll, you'll see. The, I'll, you'll post the picture here. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. Yeah, let's keep this rolling. Is, this is this is some of the cool things that uh, EMFs do for uh, dumbass college kids. Can call it again. Watch this. So no one touched the bottle. Oh my god, take it away. Are they all calling, yeah? Okay. Now watch, focus on it. It should happen. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Look! Look at that! It was on vibrate, no? Huh? No way. Without touching the, the phone? Was it vibrating? So, so they put three wait. phones around the bottle is that, is that and had them all call a number. <laughs> and it fucking pop the champagne bottle i want to do it i wouldn't drink that shit after that happened you're drinking probably pure radiation i want to try That's it it's fucking ridiculous i want to try it i do want to try it but i don't have a 5g phone i bought the iphone 11 pro rape the 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 model right before 5g rolled out even though 4G is probably just as bad. Seeing as how growing up, I heard I don't know how many fucking times and how many different places that cell phones will give you brain tumors. And we're now just fucking, <laughs> we're making it worse. And then, uh, actually, Apple, if you go into your about and you go into like the law, uh, laws and regulatory or whatever section of the about, it actually says to uh. minimize to minimize EMF exposure, use headphones or use the hands-free speaker function. So uh, the uh, iPhone's fucking telling you not to put the shit up to your head. They're telling us. They have to tell us. Hey, D. They have to tell us. Who are they? You know who they are. We still gotta do that episode. Shit. This episode just keep getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. All right, here's uh, here's animals telling you 5G fucking sucks. Oh, that, even the birds don't like the 5G. They're falling it apart. <laughs> the birds are fucking the tower up, bro. Look at that one over there. Jesus. They don't like it, mate. <laughs> they don't like it. That's funny. But they, they're not dumb, the birds. They know what's, what's happening. Good on them, mate. Good on them, mate. <laughs> yeah. God, they're going for it, aren't they? That's awesome. Birds are trying to help us more than the fucks running the country. The world. Because 5G towers are everywhere. Except for Russia. Fuck, I'm moving to Russia. Putin! Fucking... He's doing a... He's letting people from the West that want to escape... The West ideals and like uh, bullshit 
He's letting them come into Russia. <clears throat> I'm moving to fucking Russia. Well, those I, I've always been attracted to Russian women. Bro, they're tra- traditional wives. And they're hot. <laughs> Some of them. Eh, I've never been to Russia, but the ones I've seen. I mean, I don't, I don't use the mail, but I consider it. Huh? Huh? You don't use the mail, but you consider it. Yeah, the mail. You know, I don't. Mail order ride? Those Russian? They were just talking about mail order ride? No. It's weird. Why would you think that? You're fucking strange. Have you considered that? Have you looked into them? I've you seen, said you don't use the I, mail yeah, after we're talking about right. traditional wives, so right. I immediately thought you were talking about getting a mail order bride. Right. It's just logically jumping from one point to the other based on conversation there, pal. Glad you, you, your brain works weird. But, but is that you, what you're talking about? What are you talking about have then? You lo- have you looked into those? They're pretty hot, I, the ones I've seen. I haven't looked into them, but I've seen Looked some. into what? Mail order brides? Yeah. No, why would I look into a mail order bride? I'm not going to get I, one. I haven't either, but they're really hot. <laughs> but you haven't looked into I it? I have not. All right. I got you. Hey, here's China fucking with 5G Tower. Somebody's going to die. Some ways to die. Oh, there you go. You're doing something to it, buddy. Here's Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama. Dumb ways to die. Just lighting that bitch on fire. There's some good people out there. There's good animals, good people. They know what they're doing. Get rid of all this 5G bullshit. You feel me? I mean, yeah, it's something. It sure is something. I'm not I'm, no. I'm, I'm not completely sold yet, but okay. Uh, you should have been sold before we even started the episode, but uh, here's... Uh, I, I told you, my 5G works great, bro. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <clears throat> here's people t- talking about the effects and what it could be causing and what it's doing to... That's what I'm saying, dude. Do, is there like, has there been a huge increase of brain tumors, brain cancer? Yeah. There has? Yeah. Can you show me a study or something like that? I don't have any studies on it, no. Oh, but are like statistics every, on it? Or? Every disease possible has fucking skyrocketed in the past 20 years. Well, that's because more and more humans are eating shittier, shittier food. I think that has more to do with it than... Food, the air. The air, yeah. The frequency, all of it. I don't know about the frequency. The water. Though. Food. Dude, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, food and air, 100%. There's a map that shows uh, where fluoride is banned in the world. Okay? A map of the world. A globe map of the world. I knew we were going there. <laughs> um, but there's a map showing all the countries that ban fluoride, and then there's a map showing all of the... Um, the major outbreaks of Alzheimer's and dementia... And mm-hmm. all of the banned countries, there's no fucking Alzheimer's and dementia. Mm. So fluoride is causing Alzheimer's and dementia. I believe that. So water, uh, the chemtrails in the air. I believe that also. Yep. The poison in our food. It took me a while to get on board with that chemtrail shit. poison in our meds. Huh? So it took me a little while to get on board with that chemtrail shit. But the more you pay well, attention, yep. the, the more you more you see it. In the episode, I fucking... I mean, come on, the episode I showed. Hey, man. What? Just because you, you, you put stuff in episode doesn't mean I automatically jump on Pay board. attention? I know you don't pay attention. I pay attention. Episodes. I pay attention. <laughs> you don't. You're just waiting for a fucking opportunity to say a joke. All right, That's, here's the next video. <laughs> she looks like she got, what? A, she got a, looks like she got a Hershey bar sitting in front of her. It's a microphone. It looks like a Hershey bar to me. Everything looks like a Hershey bar to you. 
They're saying with these towers, which they've tested in my own yard, they put up five in a five mile radius. I had dead birds in my yard. I knew they died at 20 gigahertz. I know that we die at 60 gigahertz. I knew about Wuhan, China. I knew 23 million, if not more people died out there. Media never covered it. It's insane what's going on. So because they fully turned them on to 60 gigahertz, like what you said, and they were all given a mandatory shot three months before in July of 2019. And then three months later, 5G got turned on. I saw that as a testing ground for what's going to happen in America. I know I'm not nuts. That's why I love who you are, because you're a truth seeker and a truth teller. Are you telling everyone right now that three short blasts of the 18 gigahertz or higher, which our tire, our towers definitely went past the 20 gig mark because I've been testing them. They're past the needle of 20 gig on my meter, a tri-field meter if you want to go buy one. Tri-field, it'll be in the show notes. Are you saying if they blast at three times at 18 gigahertz and we had at least one shot, we're in trouble? I'm saying that it's entirely possible, based on the patents that we see, that these chimeric pathogens were inside of lipid nanoparticles that were delivered to some or all or none people, and that if this 18 gigahertz signal is blasted, those that receive those lipid nanoparticles with those chimeric pathogens will have them released in their body and just like the spike protein was caused, uh, developed out of people's um, recumbent DNA, the exact same thing would happen in this particular case, according to the patents. I'm saying they wrote it down. I'm saying they have the opportunity. I'm saying they've done other horrible genocidal things, so why wouldn't they? And that's what the science shows us is possible. I'm also saying they may not need to go to that trouble. According to other experts, they have the ability to utilize 5G signals in such a fashion as to rep replicate any of the symptomology we think we see, whether that's monkeypox or Marburg or Ebola or COVID. So, uh, the, uh, hold on. What? Yeah, they're saying the jab will kill you if they blast the radiation. That was the whole point of the jab. Yeah. Oh, if that's true, if that is true, this is the biggest thing since chlorinated bleach. What? That's, what? That's pretty big, man. It's pretty big. If that's true. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they conned all these people into taking something that they can use to wipe them out at any point in time. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to get more into that in a little <laughs> while. Uh, you remember when we first started the, the this podcast? Mm-hmm. And you didn't, have, you didn't have the headphones yet? Yeah, I use these all the time. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Or, 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 the, or these. 250 scientists from over 40 countries have signed a petition to warn against radio wave radiation from wireless technology. Think about AirPods. You put these on your head, they communicate through your brain, and they are very clearly producing a significant amount of microwave electromagnetic field EMF radiation. Look. Whoa. I'm not you again. I've tested it. It's very clear. AirPods are producing a huge amount and you're wearing them for sometimes hours a day when you're at the gym. There is a solid amount of research, over 1,500 studies. And the vast majority of that research suggests that this microwave radiation is harmful for your body. There's also studies with human sperm showing that when they are exposed to these EMFs, they have more DNA breaks and their motility is impaired. Look, there are easy solutions here. Wired headphones are going to significantly reduce the amount of EMFs, especially if your phone is on air airplane mode and you are listening to pre-recorded content while you are using can you keep using your airpods i'll probably put one pair <laughs> in my ears and another pair on each side of my balls <clears throat> okay so everybody can hear good you know what i mean so everybody who's everybody well, you want the little guys to hear good too man how many fucking sodas do you have it's like a fucking red bull a Cherry Coke and a fucking ginger ale? The fuck else you got over there? The fuck? What is happening? You're trying to die during the podcast? <laughs> the fuck just happened? <laughs> like. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, next one. 
radiation coming from a microwave and compare it to an Apple Watch. So here's the microwave, we're going to keep it on. Right in front of it, we are almost a million microwatts. 113,000 microwatts per square meter, and we're this far away from the microwave. Let's kill the microwave. We'll go right back down into the green like we should. Okay, come over here. This phone's on airplane. Airplane mode, so we know that that's not contributing. All right, let's kick this thing on. Look at there's a nice little 10,000 microwatt spike. And you got to realize when you guys are wearing these things, they're constantly connecting to the cell tower to try to see if there's any new text message or are there any new updates. So that's the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi. No, that's the Wi-Fi kicking on. You hear that? Listen to this thing. I'll turn the volume down. If only Apple had this at the sales booth right next to it, no one would buy it. All right, so let's like swipe it open. So we've peaked at 21,000. You might not be able to see that, but it is in airplane mode. Right up here is the airplane mode icon. Now we're gonna put it in this little Faraday bag. Immediately into the green. It's magic. So you're wearing a microwave on your wrist, bud. That makes sense. It makes sense. This arm does feel stronger than the other one. Sweet. What? This arm feels stronger. What's, what what arms feel stronger? The one you wear the watch on or the yeah, one you don't wear the watch yeah, on? Yeah, it's, it's like got mutant. You power. think you're like gamma rays like fucking yeah, incredible Hulk I'm, over I'm here? That's like, not what it's doing. I feel like I'm getting mutant powers in my in my radiation arm. You're getting mutant powers somewhere probably. You're like the fish from the Simpsons. You're about to grow a third eye. I already got a third eye. Oh. <laughs> what do you got to say about the watch and the headphones? I told you my arm feels stronger. All right. All right. That's all you got. All right. Here we go. One more. There's got to be a catch. Is there a catch? There is. Just a small one. It might kill you. <laughs> Good to know. A few days ago, actually, a group of scientists, doctors, environmental organizers, and concerned citizens got together and they called for the urgent stop to the deployment of 5G. They mm. said that it's been proven harmful to human bodies, that this is an experiment on humanity, mm. and that this should be called a crime under international law. All of our digital tech sends this data back and forth, right, using these invisible microwave radiation signals, aka radio frequency radiation. Uh -huh. That's today's tech. We have every cell tower, every router constantly pulsing with radiation, whether or not you're using it. Science shows that this causes DNA damage, cancer, among other things. But don't take my word for it. And that's just with 4G. That's just with today's technology. Before we Correct. get to 5G, right now you've got some of it, but exactly. not that much. Let's listen to what Dr. Sharon Goldberg has to say. She's a clinical researcher and an internal medicine physician. This is what she has to say about what we're using today. Wireless radiation has biological effects, period. This is no longer a subject for debate when you look at PubMed and the peer-reviewed literature. These effects are seen in all life forms, plants, animals, insects, microbes. In humans, we have clear evidence of cancer now. There is no question. Um, we have evidence of DNA damage, cardiomyopathy, which is the precursor of congestive heart failure, neuropsychiatric effects. How much more potentially dangerous will 5G be and why? Well, here's what's really dangerous about 5G. I mean, it's being sold to us as super awesome. You know, your toaster can talk to your door lock. It can talk to your self-driving car. Like you have a thermostat in your home that knows when you're home. You have these smart homes. Like it just really sold to us as being awesome. But the downside is that with this rollout, it will be impossible to exist in a city or to walk outside without being exposed. There's going to be a cell tower in front of every few houses. Mm. And this means that your personal choices, whether or not you personally use a cell phone or hold it 10 inches away from your head, that cannot escape you from your radiation exposure. So let's listen to what Dr. David Carpenter, another public health physician and actually a signatory to this international appeal, had to say. I asked him about the safety testing that's been done with this 5G rollout. Okay. There's been no safety testing of 5G. Uh, the reason I think that it's dangerous is that there isn't any specific information to 5G, but we know that radio frequency radiation of 3G and 4G are associated with a whole variety of different human health effects. Everyone is going to be exposed to radio frequency radiation more continuously and at higher intensities. And that's going to cause 
more human disease. Sure. So when you describe 5G, for those in the audience that maybe don't understand it, it's it's like this Alexa thing that's being sold to us. It's this thing in our homes where, as well, you said, our toaster is talking to our phone and our phone is talking to... The Internet of Things, right? So, I mean, if you go online and Google Internet of Things, it's just like utopian Everything vision. is connected, right? Everything, yeah, it sounds super amazing. That's what 5G will eventually want, hope to become. Exactly. And you're saying it's too much. It's too omnipresent. Well, I'm, think, I'm saying that there should at least be a public debate about the health effects. And the fact is the government is completely not jumping on the ball. I mean, because of the Telecommunications Act of 1996, which says that no state or local government can regulate the placement of any cell towers, regardless of environmental effects, right. that has really laid, there it is right there, that has really laid the groundwork for this toxic infrastructure. This basically says that regardless of health effects, you cannot stop the deployment of 5G infrastructure. Uh. And the FCC, you know, which has no health expertise itself, is completely captured by the wireless industry. It's the same playbook that big oil used with climate change or big tobacco with cigarettes. You know, they're really deceiving the public and selling this to us as something that doesn't have a lot of risks. But you know who hasn't been fooled? The insurance companies. They are not selling any product liability policies that cover cell phone radiation <laughs> because they aren't fooled by these studies. And look, when people like That's find reports, it right. is. When, yeah. when usually like when you or I go online and find reports about wireless tech to find that it's harmless or that there's no evidence of harm, we're usually looking at industry sponsored studies. Yeah. And it's not a question about whether we don't want to move toward new technology. We just want to make sure that that new technology is tested before we put the it out there. Know, so correct. good stuff. Hey, Michelle, as usual, good stuff. Thank, Thank you. you. Good. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So what you got? We, 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 nothing no, nothing think, on that? No, no, I think, uh, I mean... Just I, ramming it home here? Huh? Just ramming it home? You're over, you're over me telling you about it? I don't like the way you describe that, dude. <laughs> you're a fucking freak show. Um, nice. Nice. Real fucking nice. Is 5G killing babies in the womb? It's 5G from Minnesota. Can cell nice. phone radiation increase the risk of miscarriages? Researchers at Kaiser Permanente in California recently published a study that indicated pregnant women were three times more likely to suffer a miscarriage following exposure to non-ionizing radiation from magnetic fields. What is that? That's the radiation produced by cell phones, antenna towers, and other wireless devices using technologies like Bluetooth. Let's take a closer look. According to Reuters, the Kaiser Permanente researchers studied 900 pregnant women living in San Francisco. Each participant was required to record their electromagnetic radiation field for a period of 24 hours. Researchers said that those that were exposed to the highest levels were 2.7 times more likely to miscarry as women with lower levels. So if you're pregnant, maybe start writing letters and put the phone down. So yeah, they're killing babies in the womb. Well, that's right up there, Allie. Yeah, that's not really a shocker, actually. Yeah, that's probably the least, um, the least of the crazy things you've said today. I haven't said anything crazy today. Right. All right. Uh, so this is a commercial for the Aries Tech, but it's really just to show you. Uh, they did brain scans before and after they used that technology. Um, and it's just to show you how fucking bad it gets when you're holding your phone up your head. Never done anything like this before. <laughs> I can only imagine what I look like with this cap on. It's going to be my new Instagram profile picture. I just know a little bit about EMFs. They are emitted from electronic devices. I know that they stand for electromagnetic fields. I, I can't see it, so I don't always believe it, you know? The one on the right there is what you look like after 10 minutes of having the phone up against your head with no Aries device. That's wild. It's very significant. There's a lot of red on there. That's insane. <laughs> this is the LifeTune device, and I'm going to put it on my phone. And I'm going to put it on the VR headset. This is the Aries LifeTune Mini, and I'm going to clip this to my purse. So this is what it looks like when you have the Aries. Oh, huh. it's even better than the baseline. How did they do that? Can't believe how different they are. Honestly, I thought there would be like a little bit of a difference, but this is pretty insane. That's really cool. A small device like that can 
make such a huge difference. I'm very surprised at how well the device works, and I want to like give it to like all my friends and family. Like you have to have this. Do you work for Do you work for this company? Because now I feel like you're trying to sell me something. No, I just want to show you the brain scans. But yeah, I, I have bought products from them. Mm. Like I said, I have one on my Wi-Fi router, and I have one on my neck. So. And they actually work up to like, this one actually works up to like 30 feet. So anybody around me also gets the effects of it. But there's ones you could buy in your home that are like 300 feet. So, you know, they just set it up in your central spot and yeah. Take care um, of your neighbors too. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god. I saw a video of a guy went to his neighbor's house and he uh went to the doorbell and he was like uh you changed your Wi-Fi password and I was just wondering why you did that. And he's like wait, what? What do you mean? He's like talking through the doorbell. And he's like you you uh, this whole time I've been here I lived here for two years and you never had a password on your Wi-Fi and all of a sudden there's a password on it so we could do two one of two things you can give me the password or you can remove the password <laughs> he's like uh, so my internet was going really slow and I was uh, they, they told me to put a password on it because somebody could be using the Wi-Fi so I did that and apparently it was you who was using the Wi-Fi and he's like yeah it was me and he's like, that's it's my Wi-Fi. Why would I give you the password? He's like, because when it's in your walls, it's your Wi-Fi. But anything that goes outside of your walls is public. And he's like, well, now there's a password on it. So now it's private. And he's like, it was the stupidest fucking video I've ever seen. The neighbor's a fucking moron, but he's, he's an old guy. But it was, it was pretty funny because the guy was like, the fuck? Dude, back in he's the like, day. Used to used to use other people's Wi-Fi all the time. I used to, yeah, dude. I used to I'd sit out. There. I used to sit out in front of my sister's house and use like across the street neighbor's Wi-Fi back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I've been there. Yeah, hard, hard times, bud. Hey, I was young. I That's funny. I was. That's funny though. I mean, Starbucks has free Wi-Fi. Just go to Starbucks. Make oh, some make some liberal make your delicious coffee. So you remember what happened in 2020? Don't use the word. Sc scam scam demic. Uh, I don't even know if you could say that anymore, but you know, whatever. Um, Here's a guy talking about uh, what 2020 really was. Okay. This guy's awesome. I'm trying to get him on the podcast, but he's writing a book <coughs> right now. So when he. Can I talk without you burping in the middle of my fucking sentences? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I want him. I'm going to get him on the show, but okay. he's writing a book. So when oh. he's done writing the book, he said he'll come on the show. Okay, cool. What's he yeah. what's, what's he all about? Uh, he's into all the every episode we've done. He's he's got his he's 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 on, I think most of them anyway. He's going to hate me. <laughs> 2020 was radiation poisoning or radio wave sickness or acute electrical illness, loss of smell, loss of taste, ringing of the ears, dizziness, nausea. Those are all symptoms of radio wave sickness. Meanwhile, they're sticking things up people's nose, giving them a couple of these and doing all these other things and telling people to cover up because you got to watch out that germs are going to get you. doesn't make a lot of sense because at the same time, they rolled out 20 million Cell phone towers. Every single place that they would roll out these towers, all of a sudden people would start experiencing loss of taste, loss of smell, dizziness, nausea, brain fog. This whole system is trying to keep people sick. But as we start addressing the root cause, we address our nutrition, we get rid of the Wi-Fi, we get rid of the LEDs, we start wearing natural fibers, natural materials on our body, we start barefoot grounding, we start connecting Man. to our food. All of a sudden we start to heal like that. 2020 wasn't a, a freaking... Uh virus it was radio wave sickness that's why people were losing their taste their smell all that shit it wasn't effects of the virus it was fucking effects of the 5g towers that they just put up and that's why it started in china because 
Where did they first roll it out? Wuhan. Again, when you know Steiner, you have the answers to the test, but you have to then figure out the details. In 1918, after the um, uh, huge, biggest pandemic, the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918, Steiner was asked, what was this all about? And he said, well, viruses are simply excretions of a toxic cell. Viruses are pieces of DNA or RNA with a few other proteins. They butt out from the cell. They happen when the cell is poisoned. They are not the cause of anything. And the first way I would encourage you to think about this is if you are a famous dolphin doctor, right, and you have been studying dolphins in the Arctic Circle for hundreds of years, or at least a long time, and the dolphins were fine, and then they call you up, Fred, all the dolphins, or a lot of the dolphins are dying in the Arctic Circle, can you come and investigate, right? And you have one question to ask. So show of hands, how many of you would say, I want to investigate a dolphin to see the genetic makeup of that dolphin? Nobody, because that's stupid. <laughs> how many of you would say, I want to see if this dolphin and that dolphin has a virus because it might be contagious and that's why all these dolphins are getting sick? That fellow. How many of you would say, excuse my French here, Somebody put some shit in the water here, <laughs> like Exxon Valdez. Anybody? Everybody. Because that's what happened. And the cells get poisoned. They try to purify themselves by excreting debris, which we call viruses. If you, if you go to the current theory of viruses called exosomes and the latest head of the NIH giving a talk on the complexity of viruses, you will see this is perfectly in line with the current thinking on what a virus really is. I had a dramatic example of this when I was growing up. Out, right outside our house, there was a wetlands, and they were full of frogs, and the frogs kept me up at night, so I taped the windows, and they, in the spring, it was, they made a big racket. And then over time, the frogs were all gone. How many thinks the, virus, the frogs had a genetic disease? How many thinks the, vi the frogs had a virus? How many thinks somebody put DDT into the water? That's what happened. Diseases are poisoning. It's one of the reasons why vaccines... So, let me skip that for a minute. So what happened in 1918? There was a huge... In every, every pandemic in the last 150 years, there was an, a quantum leap in the electrification of the Earth. In 1918, late, uh, late fall of 1917, there was the introduction of radio waves around the world. Whenever you expose any biological system to a new electromagnetic field, you poison it, you kill some, and the rest go into a kind of suspended animation so that, interestingly, they live a little bit longer and sicker. And then starts in World War II with the next pandemic with the introduction of radar equipment all over the Earth, blanketing the entire Earth in radar fields. First time humans have ever been exposed to that. In 1968, there was the Hong Kong flu, and it was the first time the Earth has a protective layer in the Van Allen belt, which essentially integrates the cosmic uh, fields from the sun and the earth, from the moon and Jupiter, etc., integrates that and essentially distributes that to the living beings of the earth. And we put satellites emitting radioactive frequencies in the Van Allen belt. Within six months, we had a new viral pandemic. Why viral? Because the people are poisoned, they excrete toxins, they look like viruses, people think it's, an, it's a flu epidemic. In the 1918, the uh, epidemic, the Boston Health Department decided to investigate the contagiousness of this, so they, believe it or not, took hundreds of people with the flu and they sucked the snot out of their nose and injected it into the healthy people who didn't have the flu, and not one time could they make the next person sick. They did this over and over again, and they were not able to demonstrate contagion. They even did it with horses who apparently got the Spanish flu, and they put bags over their head, and the horses sneezed in the bag, and they put the bag over the next horse, and not one horse got sick. You can read about this in a book called The Invisible Rainbow by Arthur Furstenberg, who chronicles all the steps in the electrification of the Earth and how within six months there was a new flu pandemic all over the world. And when you, invest, when you hear the normal uh, explanations, how did it go from Kansas to South Africa in two weeks so the entire world got the symptoms at the same time in spite of the fact that the mode of transportation was horseback and boats and there's no explanation for it, they just say, we don't know how that happened. 
But when you think about it, with these radio waves and other frequencies that some of you have in your pocket and on your wrist, you can send a signal to Japan and it arrives instantaneously. So any of you who don't believe there is an electromagnetic field that communicates globally within seconds just is not paying attention to this. And I will only finish by pointing out that there has been a dramatic and quantum leap in the last six months with the electrification of the Earth. And I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. It's called 5G, where they now have 20,000 radiation-emitting satellites, just like the radiation-emitting thing in your pocket and on your wrist and that you use all the time. That is not compatible with health. I'm sorry to say it. It's not compatible with health. That is a water destructuring device. And for any of you who say, yeah, well, well, we're not electrical beings, we're just physical matter, then don't bother doing an EKG or an EEG or a nerve conduction test because we are electrical beings and the chemicals are only the byproduct of those electrical impulses. And I'll finish with anybody want to make one guess as to where the first completely blanketed 5G city in the world was. Exactly. So when you start thinking about this, we are in an existential crisis here, folks, the likes of which humankind has never seen. And I don't want to go all Old Testament prophet on you, uh, but this is something that is unprecedented. The, the putting of 100,000 satellites in the very blanket of the Earth. And by the way, as I was going to say earlier, this actually has something to do with the vaccine question. And this got brought home to me because about a year ago or so, I had a patient who came in who was totally fine, a surfer and all, and then he broke his... He works as an electrician putting in Wi-Fi systems for very wealthy people. Electricians have a very high mortality rate. But he was fine. And then he breaks his arm and he gets a metal plate put in his arm. Three months later, he couldn't get out of bed and was total, you know, heart irregularities, just total collapse. The susceptibility has to do with how much metal you have in your body, as well as the quality of the water in your cells. So if you start injecting aluminum in people, they become receptors for absorbing increased electromagnetic fields, and that is a perfect storm for the kind of deterioration of the species, which is what we're now experiencing. And I'm just going to finish with one more thing, which I like to, is a quote from Rudolf Steiner. And by the way, this was around 1917, so it was a different time. In times when there were no electrical currents, when the air was not swarming with electrical influ influences, we're talking 1917, it was easier to be human. For this reason, in order to be human at all today, it is necessary to expend much stronger spiritual capacities than was necessary a century ago. So I'll just leave you with whatever you can do to increase your spiritual capacities because it's really damn hard to be a human being these days. That's why people are dropping dead in China because they rolled out 5G there first. It wasn't no fucking bat soup. Fuck out of here. All right, so I got a couple more things to show you. Uh, this is on a 5G tower. This caution sign right here. Hmm, no shit. <laughs> it's on the fucking tower. Interesting. Yep. And then these are all of the fucking sicknesses, symptoms of microwaves. Yeah. Look at That's all that shit. Interesting. Then, see this tree yeah. dying from the top down next to a 5G tower? Huh. And do you see this pa these palm trees fucking melted next to a 5G tower? That's fucking weird. Interesting. It's bad. It's just bad. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to fear monger. Just there's ways you can get around the shit. Uh, there's always a solution for everything. So uh, I'm never trying to fear monger. I just want people to be aware of what's happening around them. Uh, if you're getting sick about something, it could be that, uh, but people just need to start getting healthier and, you know, that's all.
What are your final thoughts, bud? Final uh, th- am I am I a wackadoo? Or are you are you on board? Uh, uh, I do think you're a wackadoo. Should I go work in a soup kitchen instead of doing the podcast? Like, what are yeah. we doing here? No, I think I do think you're a wackadoo, but Why? I don't I don't think it's because of the five G stuff. Um, <laughs> what's it because of? We're not gonna get into that right now. We'll no, what's for, it because of? I want to we'll know. S- we'll save that for another episode. That being what said, what episode? What episode? Episode. 73 maybe we'll save for that one we're on like um, episode, this is episode 51 we'll get there don't you worry uh that being said the 5g stuff um yeah i could i could see how it could fuck with people um that being said it, most humans are brainwashed into into loving and thinking they need certain things and 5g is certainly one of them and so it's gonna be that's, that's the, this, this is an uphill battle my friend I got fucking. I'm good. Oh, I'm not. If 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 these things are really fucking us up, I'm fucked, bro. Because I got all kinds of electronic, dude. I. I, I mean, I got body well. I I even got body well stickers on all my devices on my laptop, my cell phone, my iPad. <clears throat> so. Um. Yeah, this podcast is the only reason why I still have all this shit. To be honest with you, I was about to buy a flip phone for work. So, even a flip phone has got shit on it, but it's not as bad as all the fucking shit I got. Hmm. But I'd get rid of everything. But I need to edit and I need to do all this shit. So, I just try to minimize the damage as much as possible. And Plus, if you're more, the more you spiritual. As soon as I talk, you're gonna fucking talk over me. So just say something, you dick. <laughs> I knew exactly what you were fucking doing. <laughs> fucking fool. Fucking fool. Go ahead, man. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, the more spiritual you are, I think the better off you're gonna be on minimizing all the shit too. So when I said, "Did you meditate in Sedona?" You're getting more in touch with your spiritual self. Your body doesn't have a soul. Your soul has a body. Damn, bro. That was deep. And your and your soul can clear out. <laughs> that was deep. Your soul, the real you, can fix anything physical. It truly can. You just have to believe that it can. And a lot of people, even me, I still, there's still part of me that, like, is not fully believing that I can fix anything I want physically just by being spiritual. But, um, I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting there for sure. So same like thing it. with manifesting. When you manifest something, it's the same thing. You're, if you cure your body, you manifested that cure. So when things happen that you manifested, you made it happen. So, um, placebo yeah. effect, man. That's a good book. Um, you Are the Placebo by Joe Dispenza. Really, 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 really good book. Talks about the all the placebos and shit like that and how you can literally uh, trick yourself into thinking you took a medical pill when you didn't take shit. So your mind does everything. Your mind is the most powerful thing. That's the main reason I quit smoking because your mind is a fucking powerhouse. It really is. So. All right, that's all I got. I like it. I like it. I like this episode, Joe. It was informative. It was informative. In, infor- information additive. You love the infor- informative episodes. I do. They're great. <laughs> you do? Yeah. All right. School, school these fools. I'm going to take you to school. Word. Bitch. Damn harsh language well you know you gotta drive the point home sometimes for 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 for, 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 for sure you know what i mean boo i did not call you boo i didn't
<laughs> All right, brother. Well, I guess I will. <laughs> I will see you next week. Love you, man. Godspeed. Love you too, bro. Godspeed. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Hey, they got 5G towers that look like trees now. I don't know why. Still looks like a tower. They uh, put one up at my dad's land and he's going to get an EMF reader to see if it's going to affect the frequencies. If the old man gets sick, maybe we can prove that it was that tower. I'll let you know. Bye.